fancy Kroger grocery shopping day. Again, I'm gonna say the list is not that long. Just focusing on making this for dinner this week. And then we do have to get like some of our staple items, of course. I'm sure you know how this grocery shopping thing goes. Hoping, I'm gonna say 200 this week because honestly, I think it should be 150, but I'm always wrong. Let's go see what we can make happen. I walked in and instantly got so happy. Like, that's a problem. Or that's just part of adulthood, but I probably threw in 50 bucks in my cart already. The happiness is gone, but I think I'm gonna get the smaller pineapple instead. Is there a difference between russet potatoes and Idaho potatoes? Okay, they're the same. Mason and I were looking at recipes last night, and we saw some breakfast egg thing with some sourdough bread. He was amazed at the sourdough bread. I saw Nut Pods has a new cinnamon cream round, but it's not here yet. I'm also gonna make this little gift box for a friend. So I've seen a few cutesy things, but I'm not including that in the grocery shopping budget, okay? To support our smoothie issue, we need so much frozen fruit. So expensive though. I think it's raining. But guess what? One fifty four sixty five. What? What? Now that's not including the friend gift. Like I said, we're not worried about that. I'm taking today as a win. Most expensive thing I got was some ground beef. Seven twenty nine. So what did I do differently? Did I stick to the list? No. But did I pay attention to what brands I chose? Yes. Saving two dollars here and there makes a difference apparently. Who would have thought? Thanks for shopping with me and have a great rest of your day.